But I'm here to tell you the raw, 100% realness of what you might go through in pharmacy school. So keep on watching. All my life, been grinding all my life. So, all I did was study. All my life, been grinding all my life. Sacrifice. You, it's gonna be, you know, across the country, pharmacists are going to prescribe birth control. So pay the price, want a slice, got the roll of dice, that's why. All my life, I've been grinding all my life, look. All my life, been grinding all my life. If you like these kinds of videos, please give me a thumbs up. My name is Lazi. For those of you that have now just subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for watching my videos and showing the love. Let's get on to the video. So in those clips that I just showed you guys right now, I wanted to show you guys from the very beginning. I'm to show you guys when I got accepted, the white coat ceremony. I attended the scholarship dinner for receiving my Hispanic scholarship. And pretty much this year kind of sucks. Be 110% real with you. This year is not easy. Pharmacy, as you all know, is extremely difficult. A lot of people move on from undergrad and do take also do their masters and think that pharmacy school might be similar. It's not. You're enrolled in 18 credits. Each class is a core class. It's not just 18 credits and then two easy classes. They're all core classes. They're all important. They're all needed. Questions are K-type questions and they also, a lot of the questions are like A through H or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you pick whichever ones are correct. It's not just one correct answer. And it can have that one word that makes it completely wrong. And if you don't catch that, it's pretty much the whole question is wrong. So they're just pretty much training us from the very start to be very detail-oriented students so that as pharmacists, we can be very nitpicky when reviewing a patient's profile I make a lot of mistakes and i wanted to share my fourth year py2 school year my review my experience my journey and hopefully you guys don't make this mistakes i want to share some tips that you can follow so that you don't commit the same mistakes i made because i know before i started fourth year and before i started pharmacy school i used to ask students a lot of questions because i wanted to be prepared i used to ask them what i should avoid what i should do what i shouldn't do just so that you have something in mind one of my many mistakes and it still happens every single year and i hope this doesn't happen to you guys when you start pharmacy school is studying in advance i try every single year to study in advance at least a week in advance so hard to do because you have so many exams back to back you're enrolled in 18 credits meaning you have two to three exams every single week you might have one week that is probably before spring break or after spring break that you won't have an exam but that's just it's insane your mind you're like literally no time for anything because the material is so dense there's so much information that needs to be collected so much time put into every single class that needs to be done and i started off studying for an exams in advance but i ended up falling behind and that is one of my biggest mistakes that i did in the fall and i made sure that i didn't do it in the spring in the fall it was just like it's not like i wanted to fall behind it was just like it was so much material i just didn't know how to handle it i've mentioned it before is i studied for 10 hours straight without taking a break every single day i would go to the library and study so we had classes in the morning and then i study from like I would study literally from like 11 a.m. all the way till 10 p.m. or all the way to 11 p.m. And I would barely take breaks. I would pick up my phone like every hour and look at social media, but that's not really a real break. You're not resting your brain. You're not resting your eyes. Something else that can help you guys a lot is to look over your notes every single day, at least 30 minutes a day for each class. What I was doing every single day in fourth year was that I was studying every single day for the upcoming exam. If I had started the school semester looking over my notes every single day for 30 minutes, which I normally start in the beginning of the school year, I start really good, but then I fall off the bandwagon after a month, which is terrible. But if I would have done that, I would have saved myself a lot of time. Also, I feel like if I went more to 
the tutor sessions it saved me a lot of time instead of studying for eight hours i could have been studying for five because the tutors do help sometimes even have ideas of what's going to be on the exam what made fourth year the most difficult is i felt mentally insane i know this is very dramatic but this is what it is and i don't want to hide it i felt like all i did was study i had no free time even if they say take breaks you should be just taking your half hour break in between study sessions and rotating subjects you should still have time for yourself just to stay sane during the, the school year but honestly let's be real that is just impossible to do especially when your body is like pretty much stressed out like i was at the highest stress level of my life that i've ever been I've never been this stressed in my life. I gained extra weight. I couldn't sleep at night. I lost a lot of hair. My skin got really dry. When I went to the doctor's office, she noticed that I didn't look okay. And it was all because of the stress. So I feel like that's what kept me going. I was really stressed, so I had high stress so much anxiety and it just kept me going throughout that year one of my hardest class two of my hardest class so medicinal chemistry was really hard for me in the fall but not so much in the spring because i figured it out so what medicinal chemistry is is the organic molecule shapes of each drug and for that molecule you have to know exactly how it looks like because if they show you a picture of it, they're not gonna say, oh, what is this drug? The professor would have one through seven and you would have to select which ones were right. Um, sometimes all of them are right, sometimes only three of them are right. It depends on the type of question. There's only 25 questions, so it made it more difficult. And time was limited. It was a 50 minute exam, a lot of information. So one question would have activity, it would have its protein binding. Also, I forgot to mention, of course, the other things we needed to know about the drug was how it was metabolized, how long it took, how long it lasted in the body, its half-life in the body, its lipophilicity, the side effects, the indication, the molecule side chains, which sometimes determine its polarity, and so on. So there's a lot more stuff that I forgot to mention, but if you want a more detailed video on each subject i can certainly do that fourth year i feel like was all about figuring out your study techniques and for that class i had to figure out how am i going to study for this flashcards wasn't working for me in the beginning flashcards started working better for me at the end of the fall semester so for those of you that have applied to pharmacy school and are starting pharmacy school this year don't feel discouraged after my video um, because although it's really hard, some people might find certain classes easier than others. The mistakes I've mentioned in this video, I hope you can work around that and avoid those mistakes so that you have a little bit easier time in pharmacy school. And honestly, what you make of it is what your experience is going to be. I was pretty much stressed out a lot, which most students are in that program. But as long as you have your friends, you have your support system, everything will be okay. Um, and once you make it through, it's almost like you kind of forget. I mean, I didn't forget. When I look back, I'm just like, oh my God, that's so stressful. I don't even want to think about it. I don't regret ever going through that experience um, because without pharmacy school, I am achieving my dreams of becoming a pharmacist. But I feel like this program helped me be more responsible it helped me be more mature and it literally changed me as a person i feel like i can do anything i want remember i used to be like i can't pass that class it's so hard and i used to just give up i'm not like that anymore i'm like i'm gonna pass this class i'm gonna get this grade i'm gonna do this and sometimes i'll be honest yeah i'll fall behind in an exam and i'm not and i won't get a really good grade that i wanted but you know what I'll go back, I'll study even harder, and I'll say, I'm getting this. And honestly, I wish I had my friend here, because she would tell you, she, I, I literally did that. Honestly, don't let anything that I showed you scare you away from it. I know a lot of people always ask me, is it, is it gonna be hard? Because I know that was my focus in the beginning too. Everything in life is gonna be a little bit hard, a little bit challenging. It's gonna take you out of your comfort zone, but that's what you want. You wanna keep growing. You want to be taken out of your comfort zone. It, it's literally challenged me and helped me grow so much like challenged me to the point that I remember driving at three in the morning and saying, I can't do this. Am I really gonna do this right now? Is this really how my life is? 
I need to push and I need to work harder because I'm going to make it. I would give myself those pep talks. It's like insane. Like everything like mentally what you go through is insane i really honestly can't explain that part but i can tell you guys the difficulties of each classes and how pharmacology has little specific details that you have to pick up at the end of the day they don't want pharmacists to just count pills like everybody thinks we do they want us to understand a patient to understand like when we look at a patient's profile their medication that we can see a connection and we can we can tell right away what each medication is for if this drug can benefit this patient even more or even if we're just going to be there to save the patient money whatever it is we're here for the patient and all that studying and everything that you go through every single day just know at the end of the day you are going to be saving a life and don't think i'm being dramatic with that part it is true it's actual facts because you're going to have a diabetic person come in N not taking their medications not being adherent you're gonna be that one person to change that patient's mind and for everyone that thinks pharmacy is just all about sh shoving pills down their throat that's not true because in class they teach you on pharmacological approaches first like exercising dieting all of that but some patients don't want to change so then we have to move on to the next step and that's what we're here for fourth year has been real I don't have to go through that again this is my review fourth year i might be a little bit scattered but it's because i had a lot to say and i can keep going but i don't want to make this video super long i know i have a couple video requests um i will be coming out with the video requests that people have been requesting so hold on and if you have any other video requests leave them down in the comments down below because i am on summer vacation i'm on rotation i'm ready to film videos for you guys and help you guys out because when I was starting pharmacy school, when I started fourth year, I wanted these kinds of videos and they're not on YouTube. So there's probably like two people that do this. Thank you so much for watching.